in order to make more putts, you have to be able to read what the putt is going to do. In order to read the putts, you have to know the line and the speed. Anytime there's a concept of speed, you must take time into account. Miles per hour, feet per second. Let's take a look at about a 30-foot putt here. If we have a downhill putt, and then we have the same uphill putt from the opposite direction, and each ball goes into the hole at the same exact pace, which putt takes less long to get there? If you guessed the uphill putt, you were right. The uphill putt starts out faster and slows down quicker. The downhill putt starts out slower and continues to roll out. You must read the putt in that manner in order to get the, the correct imagery in order to make the putt. In the end, you can have the best stroke in the world, but if you don't have the imagery, you can't create the feel imagery relative to that in order to make the putt. So when you walk into your putt on a downhill putt, you walk in slower, a little more gently. And everything you do, the, the look that you have, the practice strokes that you have, are much more gentle. You would stroke it that way. If you're walking into an uphill putt, then you would walk in a little bit more briskly. You're matching the speed that you're going to stroke it at, and you're taking on the mood of the putt. So the stroke would be a little bit more upbeat, matching the speed that the ball is going to start out on. That is a great way to make more putts. This is Bob Byman.